Hello everyone, uh, welcome to part two of my I Spy uh, Photography lesson. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the introduction. If you watched the, the, the other little clip, uh, we introduced uh, you to Walter Wick, the photographer uh, and the artist who uh, took the photographs for uh, all of those I Spy, Hey Seymour, and Can You See What I See books. So what I'd like to do with this is actually teach you guys the process that Walter Wick uses uh, to create your own uh, photographs for your I Spy uh, pages and if you uh, or your photographs. And if you do several photographs, you might actually create uh, your own I Spy book, which I think would be really, really cool. So step number one, uh, for my I Spy photographs, I wanted to use my famous artist action figures and toys. Uh, can you uh, spot the artist was my uh, theme and my idea. So uh, step two, finding your materials. I pulled out every action figure and toy I had in my room and placed them on the table. I used a, a white sheet of paper so that you could actually see the, the, the images pretty well. Step three, let's create and arrange the objects. So I use uh, a, a large sheet of white paper to arrange the toys on. Uh, and I use uh, box, uh, books, boxes, and a few boards. As you can see, get the little mouse up there. Uh, as you can sort of see this, uh, this is a sort of a structure I use just where I can take a photograph of the scene. Uh, and my, um, I'm using my um, iPod or I, my I iPad uh, to actually photograph the images. So my camera is going to be laying somewhere up here on the boards but I'm looking down onto the white sheet of paper. I don't want all of this background uh, clutter uh, in my photograph. I just want uh, people to focus on the, the objects, the action figures, and see if you can find the uh, famous artist action figures. So step four, it's time to photograph your work. So I had the idea, I found the, the objects. Uh, step three, I arranged them the way I want it got my camera set up, and now it's uh, photography time. Take a, a photograph of uh, your, your objects that you chose. And again, uh, try to eliminate as much background uh, clutter, things you don't want in your picture, like all of my messy room. So I just want you guys to focus on the objects on the table. So that's step four, photograph your work. Now, step five is to write a story poem that goes with the photo. Make a list of the objects that viewers can find. So, you know, if you want to show this to your parents, if you want to send me the photographs, some of the fo cool photographs that you make, I'd love to post them online, but I'd like to have a list of, of things uh, that I need to look for. Um, and uh, uh, it'd be also cool, too, to have a little story to maybe set up the, the scene of the photograph. So my ultimate goal was for you guys to see if you can find the uh, seven famous artists. So I have, uh, this is my introduction. So this is uh, my action figure of Vincent Van Gogh. My action figure of Leonardo da Vinci. He's painting in a Mona Lisa. Uh, and then I have these neat little cool sculpture figurines, whatever you want to call them, uh, of some famous artists. And this is uh, Vincent Van Gogh. We have Andy Warhol. Salvador Dali, uh, abstract artist Pablo Picasso, and Frida Kahlo um, is uh, from Mexico, and she's a very, very famous artist as well. Andy Warhol uh, became famous uh, painting uh, soup cans, uh, famous people, uh, so we call him a, a pop artist. And Salvador Dali, uh, he became famous for painting uh, things that can only happen in dreams. For example, like a big, huge, heavy elephant, what if it had uh, stick legs um, and walked around in the desert? So things that really can't happen, or clocks that sort of melted, sort of like time is uh, sort of uh, oozing and melting away. So that's why it became him, uh, that's why it made him famous. So as I show you my photographs of all of the characters and things I have, would you be able to find these seven famous artists? All right, this is the photograph um, uh, that was actually on the front. You might have saw um, at the beginning of the, the PowerPoint. 
but uh, this is actually the photograph. Uh, it looks like they're all sort of floating, and that's the effect of that white paper. Um, so I put the white paper down to get rid of, uh, you know, any kind of textures or background because I really just wanted you to focus on the image. Here's my story. This is step five. I see toys about artists. I see toys from the past. I see toys on a table in the art class. And here's my list of things you can find. Can you find two bear stained bears? Can you find a Mickey Mouse? Can you find Hercules? A sheriff? Two bounty hunters from the movie Star Wars? Can you find Aladdin? And can you find two dragons that look exactly the same? They're twins. I'll give you a minute to look, see if you can find those items. You can always pause the, uh, the, the video if you want more time before I actually give the answer. So that's actually a really good idea. If you want to pause it, look for everything, and then if you want to know the answer of where everything is, then you can return and play the video again. So let's go through and, and, and show you uh, where everything is hidden. So let's look and see if we can find the two bear stained bears. There's one and there's two. There's Papa and uh, 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 I don't think it's the baby bear, but it's uh, the, the girl bear and the ba bear stained bears. Uh, Mickey Mouse. This is a very old Weevil Wobble that I had um, uh, way back, uh, probably in uh, kindergarten. Uh, and I, I, I'm, I was really surprised I found it and still have it. Here's Hercules. He's way up there at the top from the movie, uh, Disney movie, uh, Hercules. There's a sheriff down at the very, very bottom underneath the foot of Batman. We have two uh, bounty hunters from the Star Wars movie. Uh, you have Boba Fett, and I'm so sorry I can't think of the uh, the second character. Uh, there's Aladdin and Abu. Uh, it's, it's hard to see because it's a uh, he's flying uh, on the carpet, and we're looking at it from the top. And there's the two twin dragons. Okay, but the objective of this was: were you able to find the seven famous artists I introduced you to? So let's go to the next. Uh, I spy with my little eye several famous artists. Can you find the seven famous artists? Which artist in in uh, in the photo is in tw in there twice? I'm sorry. Which artist is the uh, photo twice? Now you got a typo there. I need to fix that. But all right. If you want again, pause. Look for it yourself before I give you the answers. Uh, you can do so now. Okay, let's see if you can find all of the artists. Let's look for, oh, there's Frida Kale. That's uh, artist number one. Uh, artist number two is uh, Leonardo da Vinci. Artist number three is Pablo Picasso. Artist number four is Salvador Dali. Uh, artist number five is uh, Andy Warhol. Uh, artist number six is Vincent van Gogh. And seven is Vincent Van Gogh. So I have two Vincent Van Goghs. One's an action figure, and one's sort of like a, a little small character sculpture of uh, Vincent Van Gogh. Now, I had so much fun laying this out that I, I, I created some extra photographs. So I'd love to share them with you real quick. All right, this one's uh, really easy. I just had some letters laying around. Laid them out on the table. I wish there wasn't a glare on it, but... Uh, I, I couldn't get the glare out, uh, but here's my little uh, uh, story. Oh no, I sneezed and dropped all of my letters. Can you find all of the letters in the alphabet? Can you find the word art? Can you find the number zero to nine? How many words can you make in the jumble of letters? Now, I'm not revealing any answers on this, but if you'd like to play, uh, continue playing, just uh, hit the uh, the pause on the, the video clip, and you can uh, make as many words uh, and f see if you can find all of the the, the letters. I even drew lines uh, on this to see um, what kind of pattern I could make of doing the alphabet in order. It didn't turn out anything. It was just all cool geometric triangles and things, but it's sort of neat to try. Okay. Here's a new photograph. I used uh, some of the materials I had in the room, spread them all out, put up a white background, 
and, and took a photograph. Somebody made a mess, and blue and green crayons look worried. Can you find all seven famous artists? Keep it in mind, there are two Van Goghs, and I put in Boba Fett just for the fun of it. Uh, May 4th is coming up, and it's a big Star Wars day. May the 4th be with you, uh, and I'll have a, uh, some cool stuff uh, posted on my website on May 4th dealing with Star Wars. But right now, uh, see if you can find the seven famous artists and Boba Fett. Again, pause the video if you want to look on your own, but if you want to see the answers, I'm going to show them to you now. Artist number one, there's a Van Gogh. Artist number two, there's a Picasso. Number three, there is a uh, Salvador Dali. Number four, there is Andy Warhol. Number five, there's Leonardo da Vinci. Number six is Frida Kale. And where is artist number seven? Where is my second Van Gogh? Oh, he's hiding in the beads. But did you find Boba Fett? There he is. He's right there behind behind some of the blocks. Now, if you're wondering who this character is, um, some of my uh, girls out there that is a big, uh, huge strawberry shortcake fan, he's a villain in the, in the uh, strawberry shortcake world. So maybe he's the one who spilt all the supplies. Now, if you're wondering what this is, it's a robot. Um, and I remember uh, when I was about five, uh, my grandmother bought that at an old country uh, uh, store. And so that uh, that's a pretty little cool toy from my past. All right. I set up some books and some paintings and uh, spread out some paintbrushes and uh, placed everything uh, just right and see if you can find. Paintings, books, and brushes. Can you find all seven famous artists? Keep in mind, there are two Van Goghs. Can you find the Boba Fett? I hid Boba Fett in this picture somewhere. So again, if you want to pause uh, the video, take your time, look, see if you can find everything, and then you can resume, and I'll uh, double, you can double check because I'm going to show you the answers. So pause, and now I'm getting ready to show you the answers. So let's see if I can find all seven artists. And technically, there are uh, three artists in here um, uh, either uh, for the second or third time because they're actually on the front covers of the book. But let's look. There's uh, Leonardo da Vinci. And here's Leonardo da Vinci also in the cover of the book. Uh, Leonardo and the Flying Boy. Again, I've read all of these books. Um, I, they're also on the website. If you want to click, you want to hear me read some of the stories. Um, I, you, you definitely can. Uh, let's see if I can find the other artists. Hey, there's Vincent Van Gogh, number one. There's Vincent Van Gogh, number two. And right here on the front cover, standing right behind Camille, is Vincent Van Gogh, number three. If you're adding, uh, if you know, if you're looking for uh, all of the Vincent Van Goghs and all of the famous artists. There is Frida Kahlo way up there in the Basket of Apples uh, painting, almost standing on Paul Cezanne's book. Uh, there's Andy Warhol. There's um, Salvador Dali peeping behind one of the books. And there's Pablo Picasso standing in front of the uh, Picasso with the girl, uh, girl with the ponytail. And there's a, a second Picasso, and he's wearing the same uh, clothes. He's wearing the same outfit, which is really cool from the sculptor, um, which he was really short in, in real life. But did you find the Boba Fett? There he is. He's hiding. Uh, he's just barely hanging on, uh, trying to climb over the book, uh, Camille, uh, and the um, Van Gogh and the Sunflowers. All right. This one, I uh, had a lot of fun uh, creating this. I'm using some of the uh, paintings I've made. So if you actually want to watch uh, me make uh, uh, a reproduction uh, of uh, some famous works of art, you can actually watch them. And, and I play a song about the artist um, as I'm painting. And it's all in fast speed, so you don't have to watch it. It usually takes about two hours uh, and maybe a little longer on some. But I've shortened them down to just the length of the song. Anyway, uh, I love my job. I love to play. Put them together and I'll create all day. 
can you find the, all seven famous artists? Keep it in mind, there's two Van Goghs and there's a Boba Fett hiding somewhere in the picture. Pause the video, take all your time. When you unpause, I'm getting ready to show you the answers. So let's see if I can find them real quick. Let's see. Oh, there is Vincent Mego number one. There's Frida Kale, Andy Warhol, Leonardo da Vinci. The oh, did you find uh, Salvador Dali hiding in the brushes back there? Uh, oh, look, there's somebody else hiding in brushes. That's Van Gogh number two. Uh, you only see his sort of orange hair standing up here in the in the brushes. Uh, there's uh, Pablo Picasso. But did you find Boba Fett? There he is. Boba Fett is uh, actually um, in the container, uh, which I uh, somebody had, had got that for me from an artist uh, downtown, and it's pretty cool because it's got this big, huge E, and then on the side it says imagine. So if you put imagine, it's a, a different way to spell imagine, using your imagination. All right. Uh, this is my last one. Dragons and artists jump off the shelf. What an adventure uh, they had. I couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself in creating just one more using the dragons. And since we had uh, uh, been out for a few days or a few weeks, uh, I was able to finish uh, piecing together uh, my uh, puzzle sculpt, uh, sculpting puzzles of uh, some dragons. So when I see you guys in the fall, uh, look for these cool dragons. They're somewhere hiding somewhere in the art room. But right now, the artists and the dragons have uh, jumped off the shelf and uh, made a really cool photograph. So uh, can you find all seven famous artists? Uh, can you uh, keep it in mind there are two Vincent Van Goghs and can you find Boba Fett? Pause the video if you want to look on your own. I'm getting ready to show you uh, the the answers. There is Vincent Mego number one. Frida Kale riding the red dragon. There is Vincent Mego number two. There's Leonardo da Vinci painting the Mona Lisa in the middle of this mayhem of dragons. Picasso's hanging out in the back just sitting on a cube because he loves uh, putting cubes and geometric shapes in his artwork. Hey, there's uh, Andy Warhol peeping around uh, one of the big fins of the blue dragon. Oh, did you spot uh, Salvador Dali? He's hiding behind the yellow cone uh, in the middle of the picture. And were you able to find Boba Fett? Oh, there he is. Boba Fett is flying. You know, he's got that jet pack on his back. Uh, and he's flying over uh, some of the breadsticks and Paul Cezanne's painting. He sort of blends in with the background. So I hope you guys enjoy uh, uh, taking photographs. Uh, this is a rare time that we have to document uh, our history, uh, what's going on, how you are... Uh, uh, what you're doing at home uh, since we're, we're not here at school um, it's a good way uh, to play uh, it took me all day <laughs> to take these photographs uh, and, and piece this together but I've had so much fun and I'm hoping that you guys do the same as, as well if you do this project again please uh, uh, you know take some good photographs uh, have mom and dad email them to me my emails on the website um, uh, you know, uh, I'd love to share some of your photographs on my website in the next coming weeks of uh, seeing, you know, what, what you guys do with this uh, uh, neat project. Uh, I Spy. Uh, again, I was inspired by Walter Wick, who took photographs with, using I Spy. I also have an, another uh, photograph uh, uh, project coming up. Uh, it's very, 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 very similar to this. Uh, but I'm going to post it on May 4th because uh, it sort of deals with Star Wars. Uh, I actually met the guy who shot Luke Skywalker. Not, not, it didn't hurt him. It was a photograph. That's another uh, a word for, for taking photograph is uh, shooting uh, pictures. So anyway, uh, I'll, I'll explain more about that uh, later on. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you enjoyed this and send me some of those photographs that you've taken.